A little liquid chalk never hurt anyone. Kind of awkward when I thought that was lube one time. Sandpaper city. Yes, guys, I was able to locate them. Uh, the location was the White Castle off of Lincoln Boulevard. Why not go hit a quick dumbbell chest workout? I was actually a little nervous because rarely have I actually been in a gym that had heavy enough dumbbells for me. This one actually had dumbbells up to 250, so no dice here either. And it's, it's insane. Like, it took two guys to pick one up. <laughs> you would think the handles would be a little bit thicker. Thick. Look at how, like, bro, Skinny. I There's would no take this and just my wrist would snap in half. There's just no way. But then I'd rep them for 10. <laughs> I probably. probably <laughs> <it's that time. laughs> you, you definitely come kick it. Just taco though. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, are they better? Well, it's the same, honestly. They're not... Yeah, as, they're not, they're kind of like old, really old. The thing is, they're... Well, these are the 200s, right? Yeah, have you used those or no? The 200s, though. They're easy? Yeah, oh, okay. I mean, I thought, even I thought it was. Huh. I know, but... I think, I, I think I'm good. You could try the 220. I think I can lift that off the ground <laughs> to hand it if you want. I think so. Yeah, I know. You see that? You can watch it. That's the minor angle right up there. Like lowering fine? Well, because they don't have two machines, they don't have to have a lowering fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. That's not even close. That's, no, that's good. Yeah, yeah I would good. say that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I hate to say it. Yeah, I think it's too dangerous to go that high man climb. Yeah, like that one time you jumped from 500 to 850? Five, on deadlift? Yeah. <laughs> well, five, no, it like, no, it, it was, was like, like six to 850. I think it was 716. Oh, stop. What do you want? 150 exactly? Uh, I was gonna do 120. Oh, 120, that's right, I forgot. 120 right here. I got you. How do you feel today? Pretty well. Decent? Yeah. Yeah. They are. Right? They're like thicker. Like new school hands, I think. Yeah. Of course, for the lighter one. Right. Because no one touches the cute one. <laughs> right. Like, why don't you get Yeah. Go <laughs> do the old one. Oh. Oh. These are heavier than 120. Right. You feel that way. God damn. heavy on the back down sets. <laughs> don't don't strain anything. Eh, shitty. <laughs> Come on. Nice. 
get that pump. You can't deadlift there, but you can squat, and I guess the bench is okay. I know Otis hates the benches at LA. Oh, yeah. He goes nuts about it. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna pull my ass again. I'm like, Let's buckle those belts. Insert the metal end into the buckle and pull the strap to tighten. To open, simply lift on the top of the buckle. <laughs> Keep that core tight. Are you going to go to what? Oh, fuck. Yeah, Nice. It does help. Does it really? So today I want to treat you guys to one of the oldest dominance assertion techniques in the book. First things first, you have to go up and stand uncomfortably close to your gym nemesis while he's performing the exercise. Your presence has to be known. Next thing is to approach the weight stack confidently and move the pin at least seven to eight spots down. Make sure he notices. This is where you just proceed to rep it out as easily as possible. This is just warm up weight for you and you wanna maintain a casual attitude while doing this. After you finish, make a big deal about moving the pin all the way to the top and leave the scene with an alpha catchphrase. Uh -huh. 